Welcome to the Mind of Business Success Podcast. I'm your host, Alicia Kramer. Our guest today is Philip Johansson. We're going to talk about the world of affiliate marketing and all the money that can be made, even if you have an existing business. This is the guy you want to listen to. Welcome to the show, Philip. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Let's start by talking a little bit about your humble beginnings. You and I chatted just a little bit before I hit the record button about the fact that a lot of successful people really had shitty beginnings. Their life was not rainbows and butterflies. They had a crap ton of problems internally and externally, and that is never guaranteed a barrier for success, meaning it doesn't matter where you came from. So I'd love to start by talking a bit about your journey to shed some light on just what is possible for people. Yeah, for sure. So uh, I believe that uh, the further down you hit rock bottom, like uh, the higher you will climb, right? So uh, like five, five years ago, when I started this whole journey of becoming successful and making something out of myself. I used it to be a plumber back in Denmark. And, uh, I was living in a small city called Slagelse. And uh, we had to commute back and forth to the capital, Copenhagen. And it took around one and a half hour to three hours every day in traffic. And I was just remembering that I was 27 years old and I was sitting there in traffic jams every day. Uh, working 10 and 12 hours a day for somebody else, both uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes. And I was just sitting there in traffic jams, be like, this can't be it. Like, really? I, do I have to do this until I'm 70 years old? It can't be it. And I saw all of these people that I were working for. They drove all of these uh, big Mercedes and uh, the AMGs and the BMWs and so on. And I calculated my salary and I just couldn't afford it. I couldn't even afford a lease on a BMW 4 Series uh, and the down payment or the monthly payment as a plumber, even while I was working that much. And it kind of drove me into a depression because I knew there was more to life, but I didn't know how to get it, right? I didn't know how to get it. And it drove me into a huge Drug abuse and alcohol abuse and steroid abuse. I hang out with a lot of bad people back in the days, and I did a lot of bad stuff. And uh, it it actually nearly killed me. At 27 years old, I ended up in the hospital, and my doctor told me my kidney number was higher than a cancer patient at 27 years old. And uh, I didn't care. I just went out and took more drugs, more steroids, more party, party, party. Until uh, one day, my family came and actually slapped me in the face and said, uh, Philip, what the F are you doing? Can you see all of these people are getting sad if you die from an early age? And uh, see my mom cry like that changed it, everything for me. Everything. So for that moment right there, they probably saved, saved me from dying at a pretty early age. And for that, I wanted to give them everything. I wanted to give my mom her dream car. She always been talking about. I wanted to help my 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 family out of debt. I wanted to give them everything from that moment forward. So like many others, I went online and searched how to make money online. Right? And I fell for all of the kids on Instagram driving Lamborghinis and you know what? And I bought everything. I bought it all. <laughs> everything. Right, and uh, I ended up losing twenty thousand dollars. I went into twenty thousand dollars in debt. I lost my house. I had to sell my car. I had to sell. Uh, I my girlfriend left me, and uh, then I had to move into a basement apartment back in Denmark. I literally had hit a rock bottom at that point, and uh, there was no higher than this to the ceiling back in the basement apartment. So if I jumped or stand on my toes, I would bang my head into pipes, uh, and the only thing I had was a bed, a 16-year-old computer, and an internet connection. That was the only thing I had. And I remember I was sitting there on the corner in the bed and looking around in the basement with no windows, no nothing. I'd be like, I'm 27 years old. I have nothing to my name, nothing. If my mom and dad sees me now, 
I am an embarrassment to the family. And um, so instead of sitting there and blaming everybody else for the situation I were in, I decided it was actually not other people's fault. It was actually my fault because I was probably only half assing it, if that makes sense, right? So I decided now that I hit the rock bottom that, okay, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this work here. I'm going to make it work. So I tried one more time. I found a guy, I found a mentor, and I believed in him, and I said, okay, it was $1,500 to buy his mentorship program, but I didn't have it. I was literally living out of oatmeal, and I couldn't even afford a red steak in the $1 supermarket on Friday night. I had no money, nothing. So I actually ended uh, calling my mom. Hey, mom, can, can, we, can, we, can we talk? Right? And she agreed. We drank some coffee, and I asked her, Mom, can I lend $1,500 from you? I promise you, I guarantee you, I'm going to pay it back 100 times. Right? <clears throat> she agreed. She agreed. She lent me $1,500. So I bought this mentor online and he taught me how to sell other people's programs as an affiliate marketer online. And then because I lent that money for my mom and I gave her that promise that I'm going to make this work, I ended up making $9,300 my first 30 days selling other people's programs. Six months later, I made $233,000. Within my first year, I made half a million dollars with a broken phone and a 16-year-old computer from a basement apartment. Within two years, I made my first million dollars online. Within two and a half years, I made $10 million. And then within three years, I made $25 million online, starting from a basement apartment. I retired my mom. I retired my mom. I just bought her a Mercedes AMG, her dream car. Finally, my dad's house burned down and the insurance company didn't want to pay him because they thought he sat the fire. I was able to uh, pay for a brand new apartment, fully furniture, clothes, everything, right? And my brother went down with stress and I was able to uh, support him financially so he didn't have to sell his house. And all of that happened in a very short period of time because I decided to go all in. And now I moved to the Palm in Dubai in a villa and I just bought a $800,000 Lamborghini cash without lease, without nothing, right? And that is within three years. And now, now we are here on this podcast. Here you are. So when you reached out to me, of course, it, historically, my my team has done all the vetting, but you reached out to my personal email address. I don't know how some of you people get my personal email address, but you do. <laughs> and so I look you up, right? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I first, I think I I found you on Instagram, and then I checked out your YouTube, and I thought to myself, okay, this guy's got he's onto something. Um, uh, and I wanted to share you with my listeners. Yeah. So even if someone is saying to themselves, okay, affiliate marketing made you millions of dollars, that's great, but I've got my own business and that's my baby and that's what I am absolutely focused on. Now I'm going to come back around to the affiliate marketing thing because I know you mentor people to achieve incredible results. So we're going to come back to that teaser, right? Teaser for mm -hmm. making sure people stay on and listen um, yes. for a while yet. Even those who are not looking at getting into affiliate marketing, you have within you wisdom that I want to share with our listeners. So you shared so much in your story, but I really want to dig deeper into it. Now you, you mentioned about going all in and that's a mindset shift. Yes. You mentioned that before that you were half-assing it, which is also a mindset that a lot of business owners have because of limiting beliefs and their, their mind is lazy. It, they are, they are, and I okay. I get what you what you was what you're trying to say, and uh, I I remember. So like, if you are a business owner, and if you want to be successful, and if you want to uh, have money, freedom, 
status, right? Then first of all, I had all odds against me. I could, I can barely speak English. I sound like a broken on our swastika, right? I have tattoos. I'm a bodybuilder, right? I thought I had all odds against me, all odds. And all of my friends said, Philip, it will never work. Go back to your plumbing job. No, I will not. That's why I started this. I want to become something. I want to help my family out. And that, the, the, I believe the number one reason people fail and don't succeed is simply because they don't know where they are going. They don't have a clear direction of what exactly do they want. Do people want to make 10K a month? Oh, that's nice. Why? Why do we want to make 10K a month? Why do we want to make 100K a month? Why? It's not just the money. It's the it's deeper. You need to dig deeper than that. Why? Why do you want to make that much money? My why were my family. And your why needs to be so big that because as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you will fail. And you will fail a lot. But you only need to get it right one time. That all it takes, you just need to get it right one time. So when you will fail, what Thomas Edison tried to create the light bulb for 10,000 times. He tried 10,000 times, but the 10,001 was where it happened. And he became world famous because of it. Right? You just need to win one time. And then your why needs to be so big that whenever you encounter a wall, right, and there's no door in it, you run through that motherfucker like there is no tomorrow, right? Because you want to get to your why. So it all starts with your why. Everybody want to make money, but nobody knows actually why they want to make money. Do they want to make money because they want to see Paris? Do they want to make money because they want to have the best wedding ever for their partner? Right? Do they want to make money because they want to send their free kids to the best college out there? But people do not... It's kind of like, what is the famous saying from Arnold Schwarzenegger? He say that it's kind of like if you have no goal, it's kind of like there is a caption on a ship that has no direction. What end up happening? They just drift around. And they never actually go anywhere because they do not have a clear direction of where they want to go. So what I do with my students, I teach them. I have a full module on mindset, right? And I teach them how exactly to identify your why and how exactly to dig it out of you. And you know what? When I was back in the basement apartment, every day I wrote down, I want to retire my mom. I'm going to move into a penthouse in Denmark. I'm going to have an opportunity. I wrote that down every single day. Right? That's it. That was what I wanted. Right? And then I even took a tape and put it on the front door out of my basement. So when I woke up and I drank my morning coffee, ate my oatmeal, because that's the only thing I could afford, then every time I took the handle on the door, I saw the reason. So I thought to myself, okay, motherfucker. Excuse my language. Yeah, but, you're, you're in good company. Don't worry. Yeah, about it. <laughs> motherfucker. I'm going to crush it at work so I don't get fired. And I'm going to crush it. And then when I get back home, I'm going to work on this shit here. Right? So have a why so big that you will run through walls with it, no matter how you feel. Powerful guidance. I want to highlight a couple things that you shared. So you really did an incredible job of clearly articulating why you need to have the why. It's almost cliche. You hear it all over. All the gurus are saying it. All the personal development people are saying it. There's a reason that they're saying it. The problem is you've got to really feel it. You have to start to actually embody that. You also hear people talking about a decision. You didn't use the word decision, but you inferenced that you made a decision. You came to a, a place of conviction within yourself where you were com you were committed. You made a committed decision. 
yes. that could only come after the why. Now, for some people who are kind of a little bit comfortable in their half-assing it, mm -hmm. right? They will oftentimes say, well, I have this goal. I want to make more money. No, I really do want it. But they're missing that that clarity that you're talking about. And that's why I love the way that you, you infuse so much passion into it, because this is what I oftentimes refer to as this is your life raft. So when mm -hmm. you're out at sea and you're drowning, because that's how entrepreneurship oftentimes is, you need that life raft so you don't die, aka your, your your business goes down in flames. You give up. You you quit. You go back to the, the job. job that sucks the life out of you. And as business owners, we are wired differently. We are not content with a nine to five job. It feels like hell. And so we have to get out of our own way and we have to do that mindset work to start to really get some positive momentum going. I agree. I agree. And uh, to be honest, uh, maybe some of you listeners out there, they, you guys maybe make five or 10K a month and some people make more. And then you know how to make that every month. And because your, your why is not big enough, you go into comfort zone, right? You go into comfort zone. But what happens if you go into the hospital and you are laying there in the bed, and you have blocked it up to the machine, then it does like this. What happens if it's stagnant? You die. You die. So as a business owner, it's I believe it's always important to go all in and keep shooting higher. Because why not? Why not? You know deep inside, you know deep inside that you can actually make 100k a month or half a million or whatever, a million dollar a month or more. It doesn't matter. You know you got it. But people, they are limited. They are limiting themselves of why they can't do it, right? Listen, what, what I learned from my mentors, which I had a lot of throughout my time, you just need one person that have done what you want to do and that means it's possible for you to just need that one person, right? Just one person. That's all it takes. And the proof that you can do it as well. I love this. This is a powerful conversation. Now I have to, I have to segue back to the affiliate marketing because I promised that we would. And yes, I, sure. I'm not a liar. I'm a woman of my word. So let's <laughs> talk a little bit about that. This is obviously the, this is your win, right? You said it doesn't matter how many times you fail. You just need that, that one, right? And so That's affiliate one. marketing is something that just clicked for you. Now, I'm sure there was a learning curve. You mentioned, you know, even when you were half-assing it, there probably were a lot of things that if you, you know, cer certain things that you learned along the way that- sure were much more relevant later on when you had your mindset, right? Yes. For someone who is saying to themselves, okay, that sounds like a dream come true for me because I'm only doing this business because I didn't know what else to do. Or I love my business, but I keep hearing that I can make this extra income from affiliate marketing. I want to talk about where people begin when it comes to affiliate marketing. So can you share uh, some some wisdom, some guidance, some tips from your experience? For sure, 100%. So, um, okay, to go back in the basement apartment back in Denmark, then I tried pretty much all of whatever, Everything. I've tried YouTube automation, drop shipping, e-com stores, flipping sneakers on eBay, Amazon, you know it. I tried it all. And then I listened to these uh, most successful people on YouTube, you know, motivation videos like everybody else is listening to, right? With Tony Robbins, Grant Cadone, Ty Lopez, and all of these guys here, right? Uh, and then I saw a pattern. I saw a pattern, right? And they all said, everybody said it, model success. 
model what is already proven to work. They all say it. And okay, then I finally it finally kind of clicked for me. Okay, model. Okay, I'm gonna need to model it. You don't have to be unique. Okay. But but then I scrolled through Instagram and I saw all of these people with 100,000, half a million, a million followers and so on. And I kind of found a pattern. They were all, they all had a following, right? They all had a following and they all sold digital products. All of them. The most successful people you see on social media or online, they all have a following and they all sell digital products. All of them, right? So, okay, so I thought, okay, how can you actually tap into that, right? So, because if you need to be successful at, at building a digital product, you can do that, right? I started pretty early with mine, but in other ways, digital products are super profitable because there is no deliverables in it. It's kind of hands-off. They buy it and they get it. Email, bam, members area, bam, 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 done, right? Super profitable. And what these product creators had, they already have the customer support. They have the community. They have the live calls. They have the members area. They have everything structured. So the easiest way to tap into all of that is simply just to get an affiliate link. So the only thing you have to do is literally just put out content on social media, like simple 7, 15, 30-second videos as a reel, send them to your link in your bio. They buy the program. Some of them buy the program. Some of them buy in the DMs, but they buy the program, and then it's hands-off. You don't have to surf them because the product creator surf them, right? So it's super easy, not not. Making money is not easy, but it's way easier to tap into what is already proven to work because they have already split tested headlines, opt-in pages, sales pages, copywriting, upsells. They have already done all of this for you. So literally the only thing you have to do is send people to that sales page and everything else is taken care of. And I just started doing that. I just tap into what was already proven to work. And then I flew to be the top 1% affiliate because I used the simple videos on Instagram. So, and then if you're thinking that if you already have a digital product, I created then later down the road because I became the top 1% affiliate. Then I thought, okay, I actually got a skill. I know exactly how to do it. I can teach other people how to do it. So I created my own digital product. And now inside of that digital products, I sell click funnels, funnel builder. I sell Aweber, name cheap. And guess what? They are affiliate links, right? I make a lot of money per month selling other people's programs, even while I have my own. And if you out there have a digital product listening, you should put affiliate links inside of your members area. For sure. Love it. And I'm going to encourage, because I'm going to ask you in a moment here how our listeners can connect with you, but I'm going to encourage our listeners to follow you on Instagram, follow you on YouTube, because there is so much that they can learn from seeing what you're doing. For sure. Now, before we wrap this up I want to I kind of want to recap a little bit I mean, you shared that you hit your rock bottom you climbed your way out of that hole and you created massive success now this isn't just top one percent success this is like I don't know what what, what is that point zero 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 something percent success for yourself in a relatively short period of time by really doubling down on adapting the right mindset and just going for it taking massive action towards the achievement of your goal and now you are helping people to do similar for themselves which is a really amazing thing. And you told me 
before we started recording that you want to you want people to know your name. You want to have a positive impact on people. This is not a completely self-serving mission that we're talking about here. You genuinely give a fuck. And that is <laughs> super awesome. So now with that being said, how can our listeners connect with you, learn from you, um, go deeper with you? So uh, the first thing is go follow me on YouTube. I have uh, shot uh, some vlogs called Rich Jump by the Day, where they can literally follow me around what my everyday life looked like, what what amount of work I actually put into building this multiple eight-figure year business here. And, and I say a lot of different mindset on exactly what I did wrong in the past and exactly what I had to adopt. And all of that information is for free. Just uh, YouTube me, Philip Johansson, and they can find me. And uh, and and this, I, can I say something before we say the other thing? It's what what people make a mistake about is that they they try to build this snowball here, and 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 pushing it up a mountain. And when the snowball is about to hit the top of the mountain, there's snow on the mountain. It gets bigger and bigger and it gets heavier and heavier and what most people do before they just tip it over the mountain they let it go because it's too hard i can't do it anymore but i'm telling you guys if you are facing something right now in your business and you just can't break through you just do it one more time put out one more video on youtube put out one more video on instagram make one more post on facebook just do it one more time and then it's only a matter of time if you stay consistent and are committed to it that the snowball would then go over the hill and then it gets fun. Because then you start then you start to build up a momentum. And this is where people also go wrong because you want your snowball so big that no matter what people try to, to throw at it, it can't be destroyed. It just can't. Right, So you wanted to keep pushing at it and sacrifice time for 6 or 12 months to just build this snowball and just keep pushing it down the hill so it gets so big. And before you know it, it simply gets so big that you're just trying to run after it. But hold on, hold on, right? Because it's just rollers and rolls and rolls and rolls. And that's what I want you to do, right? Because in order for me to get to where I am today, it took me three years of barely any sleep, constant work sometimes i didn't sleep for days because then something was about to crumble in my business so i had to hire more team members i had to find the right people i i had to do different stuff i had to finish it but before but because my why was so big i did it anyways i just had i just had to do it that was a little side note a little ramp ramble around here but uh, i Gold. hope that helps some Absolutely. people Absolute gold. So thank you. Thank and you. what about Instagram? We mentioned Instagram. Make sure you share how people can find you on Instagram as well. Yes. So that is hustle fill with two L's. Hustle fill with two L's. I'd love to keep you. I know that there's a lot more that we can share. Um, maybe we can we can have you back again in the future and uh, sure. extract more goodness out of you, powerful mindset, powerful story, um, big heart. And you're just, you're just kicking ass. I love it. It's, it's super awesome to see. So I want to thank, thank you. you so much, Philip, for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. And got to thank all of our listeners. You know, we're doing this for you. If you haven't already subscribed make sure you do so. And until next time, we will see you in the next episode.